Hello, my pretties. I hope that all is well with you guys. That just put me in the mind of like an onion. So some of you guys may be eating onions or something with like the onion skin. That one's really weird. <laughs> Cause I hate onions. <laughs> But I only say that because I was just thinking about, damn, what if I had some onions or, like, y'all cooking something with onions, or buying onions, something, something with some goddamn onions. I don't eat onions, so I know that it's not me. Okay. But just for some reason, I decided to go get a steak and, or to go and cook a steak and, I was just thinking, damn, I if I had some onions right now, slice them bitches up real fat. Just so the <laughs> just so the flavor can marinate in it. <laughs> it's weird, I know, but whatever. That's just me. Okay. So whatever. Some of you guys may be that same way. Some of you guys may actually like onions. I actually was talking to someone the other day. And this motherfucker was like, yeah, I would literally just eat a whole onion. And I was just like, oh my god. So, anyways, I guess whatever onions get to do with this. I'm sending you guys love and light, okay? I hope that all is well with you guys. Just cleanse my energy. Yes, like I'm even smelling it. Like, okay, something to do with onion. I am literally like smelling a fucking onion right now. But look, that's what I'm talking about. The onion peel. But then, oh, so it does come up. I don't know what the fuck this is, but. Oh, yeah, that's. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me. I love you guys so, so fucking much. So, as always, the disclosure for terror is only accept whatever message that resonates with you in your situation. Um, I could be saying, you know, masculine and it can be feminine. I could be saying this is your son and then it's another person that you're dealing with. You know, this could be based on your relationship. This could be a relative. This could be, you know, a message that someone around you needs to hear. You know, whatever this is, okay? I want you guys to know it was, what was that song for the channel messages? 444 is the angel number. 555. 444 means protection. Your spirit guides are protecting you. And I, it's, so you guys may be getting like some interaction with your spirit team. Like they may be coming to visit you if you guys are getting over grief or have recently lost a loved one, you know, those sorts of things. Then you may see cardinals, the red birds. Those are your spirit animals. Those are, you know, your spirit team. They are visiting you, your loved ones that has passed over. Um, and it's such a relief to me. Like, okay, so I've been seeing them outside of my window for like these last two days. I didn't check today. So I'm not sure if they were there today. But I know like the last two. Wednesday and Thursday. I seen them. I'm sorry. Thursday and Friday. I seen them outside of my window. And I seen them on the other side of town. And the angel numbers that I have been seeing. So this is. You guys like literally your everyday path. Like the things. Your normal route that you guys may drive. You guys may be seeing the signs. This could be angel numbers. This could be repetitive you know, um, spirit angels that are coming to talk to you and, you know, to give you guidance and you guys are needing to pay attention to them. I've also been seeing ladybugs as well that has come out in a couple of my readings. And not only that, but I have literally finished up a person's reading as I was connecting her to her soulmate. So that could be some significance to you guys. Some of you guys could be interacting with your soulmate. You know, um, maybe not even necessarily interacting. You guys may already be with your soulmate and like the energy intensifies. 
But if you guys have, like I said, been grieving and going through like a breakup or something, and it's like once you guys have done the actual work, and since your partner did not do the work, then you guys are going to be, some of you guys are going to be granted a new life partner. So this, this other person that you may have thought was your twin flame, you know, may be really hard to separate from or, you know, to get over, however you want to put it. You know, this person could very well be getting replaced. Not saying that they're a karmic, not saying that they're not a karmic. At the end of the day, whatever cycle, whatever lesson it is that this last relationship was supposed to teach you, it's like if you've done the work and you learned, then you're going to ascend. But if not, then you're just going to keep repeating the cycles until you learn. So definitely pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to your thoughts. Pay attention. Oh, also 333 is another number that has been popping up. 333 represents a magical purpose, like something that is ordained, like destined. And that's what is making me go back to all of these because these are things that I have been seeing. So definitely, you guys, stay aware. Stay aware for signs. I went and got um, dinner tonight and I was leaving out of the restaurant and I seen 555. Then as I was leaving the plaza, I remembered we didn't have paper plates. So I went to the grocery store and I got the plates. And so I was like, okay, you know, like, let's go ahead and get this, get this dinner going, all this stuff. You know, I'm just trying to get everything covered so I can get back home. I'm checking out and this lady in front of me's total was $14.44. And I just literally laid out over the counter and I was like, oh my God, I'm so very thankful. And it was easy by the commanders, I believe. It's easy like Sunday morning. So if you guys hear that song this week, then you know for sure that this message is for you. Because like I said, it's like you were dealing with someone, you know, that was you know, kind of all over the place. And so now spirit guides have stepped in and they've told you like, look, I've blocked this. This is your protection. There's a purpose for everything. There's a meaning for everything. The 555 represents change. So there is some sort of change as well as the cardinals that I've seen and the ladybug. Those both represent your soulmate, your twin flame. So again, you guys could dead as seriously be like getting really fucking close to your twin flame if you guys have not already connected to your twin flame and you know you guys are like this is a part of the next step like this is what is coming up for you guys okay thank you all again for joining me if at any point this message resonates with your situation then you guys may be a part of my soul tribe so definitely Please subscribe so that you guys can get notifications whenever I post. Weekend vibes. And this is the weekend. Today is, well, it's Saturday right now as I'm recording. But I'm pretty sure it'll be Sunday by the time it actually... a lot that's all I'm going to take out of that um what is going to happen between this weekend and next weekend for the collective let's get some real let's get real specific with it now let's see if we can get some vibes around this game what is going on between this weekend and next weekend for the collective I choose you in a hundred lifetimes and worlds what did I tell y'all Y'all are going to be connected. If not, then this is literally like the energy of your person. Like you're going to be interacting with your twin flame and they're literally going to be like super sweet. And, you know, they may actually tell you, like, I will choose you in every lifetime. <sighs> Being watched and you're unaware of it. We don't talk like we used to. 
but I watch your page to check on you. So, like I said, even if you guys have separated, like like I was getting, like, even if you guys are not actually with your twin flame, it's like this person that you were talking to, now they're watching you. Y'all don't talk, you know, you've cut them off, but they're still watching you. So, definitely make sure that you are vibrating in your true, authentic self. Right, what other messages for the collective, please? For this week, shut out fear. Go for what you want. You will always survive moving ahead. So, like I said, you are moving away from this bullshit. You have, Spirit says, for you to call on them, for you to pray to them. I'm getting the song Heart Attack by Trey Songs. It's killing me. I swear I never cried so much. Because <laughs> I never knew love would hurt this fucking bad. Um, so, yeah, it's like that could be. Like, you guys could actually like that song, but not only that, like, hell, this could be the energy that this person is in. This person could be an Aries or a Scorpio. This is someone who is really passionate, someone who um, is possibly impatient, someone who's active, someone who desires sex. It could be, you know, a lot or, you know, fires is, I said fires. Okay, fuck, maybe a fire sign. Mars is a really fiery planet. So, you know, that this, this could be, you know, the, the sexy, you know, energy that you guys are in this weekend. Because you're wanting to shout out fear. I said shout out. Okay, so shouting. Some of you guys could be wanting to shout. But I was meaning to say shut out fears and going for what you want. A crystal child, someone who's born between 1990 and 2010, someone who lives in unity, someone who's usually really busy, that leads back to love and peace, kindness taken for granted. They use crystals to heal themselves and others. They withstand hardship and bravery, and these people do not have any karma. And let me just tell you, if you were born between these years and you ain't got no karma, bitch, you ain't it. So shut out that fear and keep on moving because there's nothing left. Okay? So let's see. Oh, well. Life isn't as good as it seems. And so, okay, so that may be what the shouting is about. Okay, so whenever you guys are like at this point to where you're just like, okay, look, this is enough and I just want to fucking shout. <laughs> but it's just like you're being active, you're being passionate and energetic and possibly, again, impatient with, with whatever this is. Maybe impatient with yourself. With something that you're going through. And you guys are. Um, praying to your ancestors about something. Look when spirit is sick of it. They are going to send you signs. To make sure that you know what's up. So like I said. Pay attention to the signs. Your spirit team are going to be sending you signs. You just got to communicate with them. That is it. The third house. Okay, so you could have Aries or Scorpio in your third house. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but that. Look, at 1444, 
Someone has Aries or Scorpio in their third house. Go and check your birth chart if you do not know. Um, a bunch of bombs bumping gums. The truth will set you free. So it's like whoever this is that's gossiping or, you know, that's talking shit could be also the same ones that are watching you. And you don't even know it. The truth will set you free. So it's like shit doesn't matter what anybody else is saying. It's whatever, what the fuck you got going on. What is the truth? What is your truth? Shit. Loving, nurturing, supportive personality is your truth. Learning to live from the heart and from your emotions. You are here to give love and to teach love. This crystal child is. You deserve a king. You deserve the world and everything in it. And I. The same energy up here. What is that? That's Gotti. Um, and I'll prove it. So again, you guys have a masculine that's coming in. And that's telling you like you deserve a king. And I will give you everything. So like I said, it may be a twin flame or something. <sighs> Listen. Because he said, baby, I will mess up your hair. And then pay to get it fixed. What is you talking about? I just want to be appreciated. Karmic partner. Here and now. So you guys may have a karmic partner that just wants to be appreciated. And to have this new beginning and a happy life and a, a home and sexual desires, you know, here and now. You make a decision. Once you make a decision, make sure that you can live with it. Because there's no turning back. Once you make a decision about your achievements and all sources of income... Then you make sure that you do not turn back to anything outside of that. Please don't deny me sex. What the fuck? Listen. Like I said, so if y'all have been calling in your soulmate, spirit guides are coming to give you messages about this karmic that you guys are needing to fucking release. Yes, I'm telling you, they are going to be sending you messages. Yep. Your changes, your regeneration, the death. The dark secrets, the upheaval, soup for your soul. You're a spiritual being having a human experience. So just remember that like this is a part of, like I was saying, if you, you meet your karmic partner, you heal, you do the work, and then you are connected with your divine partner. Now, if your partner is not doing the work, then they're not going to ascend. It's different strokes for different folks. Not only different strokes for different folks, because that can be looked at in a sexual way. We have the sexual desires here and all this, though. Somebody on some sexual shit already. So, let's just pump the brakes on that. And let me just say, a part of your life's journey you have signed contracts. You have, you know, reincarnated in order to learn specific lessons. Once you learn that lesson, energy is fluid. So you, this, this video was just based on, 
you know, someone saying that they were getting married. And then it was like, okay, so you're telling me, and it was like this person was having a conversation with an alien. And so the alien was like, no, because I understand that, you know, okay, so the guy was like, so you telling me that you guys don't have life partners on your planet? And the alien was responding like, no, because we understand that energy is fluid. Times are changing. Like, and that's why I said this could be something that has happened. You know, I, I'm generally asking for what would be going on between the weekend since we already got the weekend card out. But, you know, this could be something that may not even necessarily happen this weekend or this week. This shit could happen the next week. So, always make sure that you are focused on the message and you are only applying yourself to where it fits. Okay? You just have to really dig. Like, this shit can go so much deeper but I don't really know all of my people. So, you know, I, I kind of, I'm trying to figure out how I can, you know, jump into it because I don't know if I need to be like really descriptive and like break stuff down because hell, I'm even myself just now learning out like, you know, okay, you make this whole bond with someone, this whole commitment with someone that you're never going to leave them. But then if someone doesn't grow, they're not ascending, they're being stuck and stagnant. Anything that doesn't grow is dead. So what the fuck can you do with that? I am very adamant on that. Anything that doesn't grow is dead. So I don't know. And that's soup for your goddamn soul. That's some shit you can take to the bank and I bet you that shit won't damn shit will not fucking bounce jaguar so you guys could be seeing a black jaguar this is going to be even more confirmation do not be afraid nor discouraged but strong and courageous doing or needing to do renovations on home so some of you guys could be fixing up your home or you guys are needing to you know, fix up some things around the house or clear your mind and your energy, you know, do renovations, changing your perception. I just heard perception. Perception is key. So changing your perception on the way that things are going. Because like I said, once I actually got a deeper understanding, I would sit back and I would literally think like, oh my God, I'm getting cheated on. Bitch, who the fuck ain't? Goddamn Bill Gates, bitch. This motherfucker got all the money in the world. What the fuck does that mean? Nothing. Motherfucking Cardi B. This bitch is bad. This bitch got money. She got motherfucking fans all over. She got everything she could possibly fucking need. But guess what? That bitch still got cheated on. Okay. Understand that this shit goes so much deeper than any fucking him. And it's so crazy because I used to tell people like, you know, I feel some type of way or I would feel some type of way when I found out that my husband was cheating. But at the end of the day, I had to understand that we are fucking human beings. So the least I could do is, you know, add a little, you know, stipulations or respect to the shit. Add some boundaries because, and that's, oh, that's another message. If there's no boundaries, if there's no walls, anything can get through that shit. Okay? That's just like if you go in to fuck a bitch and you pull up, you, you pull into the garage and it ain't no walls. You falling out. Fuck can you do with that? You get where I'm going with this? Okay. Okay. Cool. So changing your perspective. Don't blame me for... You the red pill that I found in the matrix. I shit you not. I was fucking looking at this red pill earlier. The red pill... Is the pill of knowledge. So like I motherfucking said. Because someone was not ascending. Someone was not trying to break through the matrix. This motherfucker took the blue pill. Instead of the fucking red one. The blue pill is of ignorance. Slavery and evil. Wow yo. That is crazy. Okay. Okay. That is fucking crazy. <sighs> so this, this message is hitting. For somebody. This, like I said, this relationship is completely over with. Let it go. Just like Elsa. Let it go. Let it go. 
I can't hold it back anymore. Let it go. Like literally. The relationship is completely over. Let's see who this relationship is completely over with. This relationship is completely over. Somebody is breaking fucking free from this. This is Pisces energy. Ooh. All right. And then the four of wands. If I'm not mistaken. And then the empress. This is like the marriage, the home. So like I said, like I said. Somebody is going to be breaking free. Once they let this shit go, somebody is going to be breaking free. Because if it was upright, you would be trapped. But somebody is breaking free from this shit. They're changing. I just heard perspective again. Looking at things from a different perspective so that they can fucking escape in order to have this happiness and this motherfucking emperor. Empress. This Empress is Taurus and Libra. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Hangman is Pisces. But I'm about to confirm on the Hangman before I have y'all. Um, um, and it is. Stop doubting yourself. I just heard that. Stop doubting yourself. You know this. Okay, so whoever you are, stop doubting yourself. You know this. That was not just for me. All right, let's get clarity on the hangman in reverse, please. Somebody that had a lot of options, illusions, choices. Manifesting now. So breaking free from the choices, from the illusions of thinking that this karmic partner was your twin flame or was your soulmate and they were not. Cups energy. This could be a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Again, with this Pisces here. This could be a Pisces as well as an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could. <clears throat> Taurus, Virgo. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. And then Pisces. So, yeah, definitely, I'm getting really big Scorpio and Pisces vibes right now, as well as Taurus. Okay. What is this Four of Wands? What is the outcome of this Four of Wands? Or who's involved in this Four of Wands? Someone who is not getting a new beginning right now. But then look, they're going to have the test of faith to continue to go for this new beginning. So like I said, once you let this karmic partner go, then that's when this new beginning is going to come in. And that's when the happiness comes. May I have clarity on the Empress, please? Clarity on the Empress. Oh, giving and receiving, baby. Giving and receiving money. Okay, what was this? Heartbreak. For a new beginning. Okay, heartbreak. A new beginning with the sun. So a new beginning with the Leo. The Empress was hurt by someone. That was giving a new beginning. Let me see. What the fuck? Injustice. And breaking free from the injustice. Okay, okay, okay. 
So yeah, like I said, someone hurt the Empress because they were giving a new beginning to someone else. And it caused an injustice, but someone is going to be breaking free from this. This Empress is going to be breaking free from this. Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Yep. To manifest whatever they have the victory. They're going to have, I mean, they have the willpower in order to break free from this. What are they breaking free from? Breaking free. So that they can gain their own stability, their own structure, so that they can be this motherly, this woman, you know, this, so that they can vibrate in their um, divine feminine energy. Getting Libra vibes as well. You guys can have these, in, you know, these could be your Mars sign. Look. Someone is unable to move on from a love situation. But I feel like they are determined to. That That's what I really feel. Like this person is determined to. Yep. Because they are feeling stuck. Like literally. The female looks stuck and the masculine got a whole bunch of options. And now the feminine energy is preparing to take the fuck off. To release the burden so that they can get organized, get their thoughts together and have a victory of whatever, you know, what, and th there's some fear and illusion about something not working out in this, um, this relationship or this family that has someone confused on which way to go while they're trying to you know, prosper within themselves, like I said, get themselves together or keep themselves together. There is a conflict with some sort of reunion. There's no communication in this and it's a battle because someone is trying to break free. So let's get clarity on the karmic I think I want to get clarity on the karmic moving on no I'm sorry this is moving on this is forgiving someone for dealing with the karmic and having a new beginning forgiving them acceptance Or maybe the karmic was forgiving and accepting of the person to come back in. No, take that, however. No, like literally, this is a fire sign and a uh, earth sign. This is the page of pentacles. This is the feminine energy that's coming, that's manifesting, you know, that's in her, in her clean energy, that's doing her shit, manifesting uh, money opportunities jobs careers you know that sort of stuff and then the sun card is here that's fun that's happiness so it's like someone is manifesting fun and happiness yeah it's a relief like all that bullshit the, if, if it was up like this, then this is like someone going to battle. This is someone not trying to battle. Like, literally, I ain't got time for that shit. Someone wants to forgive and to have a reunion with a, pen, a king of pentacles. Yeah, oh, this king of pentacles is going to be reclaiming their power. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Look, natural born leader, deciding which way, preparing. So 
So, like I said, y'all got this 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 twin flame, this soulmate connection is, is coming in, y'all. Look. It's coming in, y'all. It is fucking coming. This is someone breaking free in order to go to this two of cups, the divine union. Just like I was fucking saying, someone is walking away from what no longer serves them and manifesting the breaking free from their fears of not communicating or not taking action to actually now being in this natural born leader position and ready for this two of cups for a reunion. This is with someone old. Again, that's going to be forgiving you. Like, why the fuck do these cards keep staying there? Okay, that's enough with those cards. Release your uniqueness. Sneakiness and backstabbing. Time heals all. I still see the pain whenever I close my eyes. So it's like the sneakiness is fucking with somebody's mental. And they're having to release that, I feel. Yep. Shut out that fear. That moon card. Somebody is going to have to shut out the fear and communicate. Spirit said, if that's what you want, say the words and they'll make it appear. They will make this, this divine being appear. If he ain't a street dude, then that's the way that you keep him. So you will know this, your life partner will not be a street dude. This will be somebody that has actually done the fucking work. That's going to be a reflection of you. Stability. Longevity. What did I say? Retail therapy. Is a thing. And I told y'all I was shopping. Did I or did I not say I was out shopping? And I seen the fucking numbers. And what's even crazier. Is because the pit, the kids had pissed me off. And I was just like you know what. I'm just going to go in. You know just take my precious little fucking time. Getting dinner. I had an, a, another adult here to watch them too. Hell yeah. I'm about to take out. Okay, so somebody else could be like that. Y'all don't get enough fucking breaks. And as soon as somebody come around. Yeah, let me just start real quick. Just to get a little piece of something. A little piece of a goddamn break. And that's going to be where you fucking meet this person at. You could be going to get dinner. Or you guys could be out shopping. Because the place that I seen this. It was in a plaza. So, it literally, like I said, it could be food or shopping. But you will know this person is not a street person or, you know, is not just uh, have bad intentions or whatever. You hope that they don't have bad intentions or whatever. Because you are releasing your uniqueness. And so you're going to know a carbonated being. You're going to know your soul tribe. You, you, you're you, going to like remember the connection that you two had in the past life. If that makes sense. Mental health check. Like I said, you're going to remember. Be with family. Chin up, buttercup. Nothing will stop me from getting to you. Okay, what is... I didn't see all of these now. Damn. Mental health check. Go within and make sure that your vision is clear. You're focused. You're in this leadership position. Messenger of spirit. This is a message of spirit. Oh, shit. Pertaining to an indigo child. Someone who's born between 1970 and 1990s. This person could have ADHD, ADD. This person could question authority. They're very curious about life. Stubborn. They're finding their purpose. Like I said, they're having to do this work because if your person has not done the work, how the fuck are you going to be in a leadership position if you've never done the work? You've never even been there. Like I said, you guys are going to know that. You rock. 
Sometimes you forget that you are awesome, but this is your reminder. So again, like I said, some of you guys just may be so wrapped up in everyday life. Hell, this could be working, dealing with kids, you know, whatever. Um, wow, three or more kids. Wow, bro. Prepare for sudden events. Charge up your phone. Hey, everybody charge up your cell phones. Charge up your phones. Go and get water. Stock up on food. Gas up your cars. Your gas light could be on in your car. You could need to um, get, you know, some sort of car maintenance. There could be, um, you need to get like flashlights, food. I have also been seeing, um, blackouts all over the world. I've also been seeing how Amazon, so if y'all deliveries have been late, that is because Am there has been a blackout, like all the... Technology has been fucking bugging out. Y'all remember when that, ooh, 40, 40 on the clock. Someone could be in their 40s. But anyways, listen. Um, oh my God. Okay, blackout, blackout, blackout. Let's register, blackout. Okay, so yeah. I seen it where they were saying the Amazon, all their robots, their, you know, their machine and shit had shut down. So it was going to be delays in packages and all that stuff. And I was just like, you know what? Uh -uh. We ain't got time for that. We got hella portable chargers. I'm getting into making candles now. Like making extra, like, you know, doing shit to them. Like adding herbs, crystals, intentions, all of that stuff. Usually, I always keep me a candle lit. But right now, I'm doing something completely different. Because I want to be sure that we are prepared. If the lights go out, I want to make sure that me and my kids are good. May not even, I'm still, I'm sticking to that. I don't give a fuck. But, you know, it may not even be, okay, so another instance with this is like someone could just go and hit a fucking light post outside and then your fucking power goes out for, you know, like an hour or two, shit like that. You know, oh, and then that just flipped over to three. So, like I told y'all, three, three, it's another three. It's going to be another three here somewhere. If not, or somebody could be 33. Or older. <laughs> bitch. Bitch. You motherfucking lying, bitch. You motherfucking lying. You goddamn lying. You goddamn lying. <laughs> oh, my Jesus. Okay. Oh, I, I think I just lost my everything right in and there. Okay, so I told y'all, 333. Three, three. So after you get through. <laughs> oh, my jeesh. Oh, my jeesh. Oh, my jeesh. Oh, my jeesh. What other messages? Because we ain't going there, spirit guys. Ancestors of the highest light only, please. I need to sage. We need some Palo Santo. We need some something. Jesus Christ, I'm in this motherfucker. I gotta cleanse my energy chair because. Okay. Let's see if I got any more messages out of this deck and then we'll move on to the other decks and see what else. This shit is hard. So some of you guys could be drawing sigils in order to release fear or release what it is that you don't know about your career 
So some of you guys could be manifesting a career. Or you guys could be fearing that um, that other people's perception of you. Maybe you don't understand what, maybe you are too focused, too busy on worrying about what other people think of you. Worrying about if you would lose what other people would say. Worried about the unknown and how other people would perceive this. Draw sigils. These are sigils in case if you guys don't know. I know not everyone is into sigils. But then again, I don't know where everyone is on their journey. So that's, again, what I was trying to say earlier. Like, it's really hard for me to try to, you know, get the message to where everyone will understand. And that's why I made these cards. Because, look, when spirit is sick of it, they're going to send you signs to let you know that shit don't add up. When someone is giving too little effort, say the words and I'll make it appear. To be saying the words, like I said, through the sigils. Someone is saying that they do love you. This masculine is saying that they do love you. Please don't deny me. Oh, okay. Okay, we have Aries and Scorpio. We have Mars out here again. Again, that's that active, passionate, sexual, you know, that fiery energy in Mars. Weekend vibes. Attention or respect. Which one do you want? Do you want... Protection, a strong bond, family, um, a leader, someone who's wise and someone who's happy. Or do you want attention from others? My shit is 100. You won't be disappointed. So Spirit Guys is saying if you communicate with them, with Mercury here, about this deceit and the arguments, perception... Talk to your spirit guides about your perception. If he goes to jail, what do you got to do? Hustle. So if a motherfucker leave you, what do you have to do? Hit licks. Because that's what the fuck was next. Be self-confident. You are made of matter. Someone is having a hard time facing reality. We got Aquarius. So an Aquarius may be telling you not to cook or clean or show up, you know, just relax. I've never loved before, but I think I love you and that shit's going to be music to your ears morning affirmations or gratitude talking around what you need so it's like once you do go to your spirit guides here and now these changes are going to happen and you guys are going to become independent you are just needing to Tell your spirit team exactly what it is that you need. Always make sure you got it. Do not depend on others. Like regardless if a motherfucker is going to jail, is facing jail time, regardless if it's a motherfucker that's just speeding you. Never allow someone to give you so much to where they just feel like they have control over you or where they just... Oh, baby. Yes. Like they just got so much control over you or like you just owe them sort of shit. Like it's a pawn sort of thing. No, always make sure that you are independent. Whatever that relationship is you have with someone, that shit is over with. And someone may be fearful of it because they love you. 
But somebody, like I said, what you don't deal with will deal with you mentally. And somebody is trying to do this by the books. I love to see you smile throughout all your competition. All throughout the hard shit that you're overcoming. Pray. Somebody needed to pray and to relax. Someone is also being breadcrumbed. Aren't you the guy who tried to... Oh, so you were being breadcrumbed by a fake person because this person is mad that you left them. But the key note is, took some time, but I survived and I met me on the other side. Healing. So once again, once you leave this fucking karmic and you have healed... It don't matter if a motherfucker come back trying to grin and grinch. It doesn't fucking matter. You can breadcrumb the next motherfucker. Because no, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. We don't talk like we used to, but I watch your page. Psychic abilities. New age conscience. Worried about children. So someone here with whoever this is that have children... You guys are getting this new consciousness, a new perception, like I said, on someone that you used to deal with. Maybe someone, someone has needed to realign their chakras. Look, always do for you. Oh my God. Oh, my motherfucking God, I just said this. I just said this. I just said this. Always do for you. Don't be dependent on that nigga. Whoever the fuck. Yo. Yo. You will see a wreck or be in one, so drive with caution. We are rebuking harm against anyone, but I have to let you know because this literally, you could be in the wreck, so be very cautious. If not, you could see one, and then when you do see one, or if even if it's not, you know, you seeing a wreck. You guys could have, oh, hell yeah, because I just had a car hit, a rock hit my window. Uh, fuck, that was yesterday. So this and that card said here and now, present moment. So this is what's going on right now. Like right here, right now, right now, right now. I'm hearing it right now. Somebody is dealing with their karmic partner right now. King, stand up. Your family is depending on you. So it's like, oh my God. The truth will set you free. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Look, I done fucked up. I done fucked up a car and everything. Three or more children. You make a decision, so make sure you can live with it. On your income. This is based about your income. Your friends, your hopes, your wishes. Someone just wants to be appreciated and then, or maybe you guys just want to be appreciated. Let me see. Uh -oh. Someone is, has a daughter. The girl parent here. Finally, I can breathe again. The weight is off of my shoulders. Stay on your husband. Oh. <clears throat> Woo-woo-woo is right, honey child. 
Spirit guides and ancestors, please give me clarity on this one. <laughs> I think I just figured out who the fuck my karmic partner was just that goddamn fast. Spirit guides, please tap in with me. Please, please, please. Oh my God. Mm. Someone who's watching. <sighs> Someone is watching you. Someone's stalking you. As well as gaslighting you. Perception. Your perception about this third party. I mentioned the perception about a third party. And how it's going to take time to heal some shit. Oh my fucking God. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. So, someone is watching you. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So, this could have been someone that was gaslighting you or someone who was stalking you. And, you know, you may have dated or hooked up with or, you know, whatever. And then you guys may have took time off so you can heal in order to make progress. And now that shit is over with because this is the karmic partner and not your actual partner. So may I have clarity on the soulmate connection here? Because I feel like this is what you guys are releasing. Stabbed in the back. Damn, what the fuck was I said? Okay, I said soulmate, right? Stabbed in the back. So your soulmate stabbed you in the back. There was endings for new beginnings. Someone is just having to reprogram their mental perspective. God damn, and then this phone call come. Mm. The law of focus. I just heard that. The law of focus. So the things that you focus on, so mote it be, god damn. Soulmate. Let's get clarity on this soulmate connection, please. Relationship evolving. Healing the inner child. Growing from one night stands. So this person hurt you by having one night stands or by sleeping with other people. But there is endings to bring new beginnings for some of you guys. Okay, so what the fuck is the difference? This is the karmic. So whatever I said about the karmic, that is it. This person, your person may have been dealing with the karmic. And then, you know, this is the soulmate. What's going on with the soulmate energy here? This person could have been watching the other woman and then told you that they needed time. But then really ended the relationship. And that had you hurt because they were sneaking around and it still ended up being an ending anyways. But that ending was only for growth. Yeah, look, like I said, not talking. Someone is still angry, so they're not talking. But I feel like this, like I said, it's still going to evolve at the end of the day. That's a part of the goddamn soul, you know, your soul contract. The Grim Reaper clarification for this karmic. So, like I said, someone is having to leave this karmic and take time to heal themselves. What's going on with... Um, this karmic. Releasing the karmic. So that there can be growth. Yeah. Releasing the karmic. So that there can be growth. As, as clear as day. Like, you guys could literally be feeling like this right now. The chaser, abandonment issues, has a block. 
But then now you guys are going to be getting some sort of truth, some sort of clarity, revelation. You guys are being protected. I told you I seen 444. So that's the protection right there. Look, like I said, love is coming. All right. Um, what is... Oh, shit. These are different decks. I forgot about that. All right, Spirit Guides and Ancestors, what is going on for the collective for this week? What should the collective know for this week? Oh. Some of you guys could be fearful of moving. Fearful of traveling. Fear of action. And then it has travel. So fear of moving. Yeah, because moves come out. Ruthless moves, memories, patient and wise. So someone had was moving reckless and the memories are still on your brain, but you guys are needing to be patient because this person may be traveling towards you, but they are fearful of taking action right now. guest so yeah that's a guest thought for a feminine energy and they are needing to withdraw from from it because look the reunion older woman good thoughts so the fear of action is keeping you in this um this lower vibrating energy but again once you withdraw from it that's when you're going to have this reunion with your twin flame your soul connection and that's when you're going to tap into your own your higher self and start practicing these good thoughts moves love business some sort of communication about love Ruthless. Foolish actions. Attraction. So someone was attracting foolish actions. They was attracted to someone else and that was foolish. Yep. Privately. They was making moves privately. And now it calls someone to go within and to solve the problem on their jealousy and their doubt. To, like I said, go from this low vibrating to now high vibrating. Now you're having to do the work. No longer trapped. That thought of being trapped is now removed. You are going to be relaxing. There is good news. The spiritual growth from this foolish stuff. From these enemies. That envious energy is going to be now sensitive. You are going to be celebrated as well as showing respect as you are leaving love. You may be having anxiety about this. Feeling like you're bound to the past. To this masculine energy. That is giving affection. That may be fraud because this person may have health problems. And health problems could be depression. But this is no loss, so thank your spirit guides for what it is that they are doing in your life. Oh, child just got real hot in here. Where am I back at? Hold on, y'all. All right, my pretties. I am back. So... Had to go and check on my babies, make sure that they were laying down. What time is it? Oh, yeah, it's 50. Hell yeah, they better be sick. I ain't gonna cap, though. They be staying up late. But this is my only time when I can fucking sleep. But not even sleep. Shit, I can just think. God damn. Make better choices. 
your greatest danger could be your own stupidity. Not even necessarily your stupidity. Okay, somebody is going to make some money. Somebody is going to make at least two sales this week before um, next Sunday hit. Your greatest danger could be the things that you don't know. And but that's only because you're not asking for it. I'm hearing your spirit God say, talk to me. Tell me exactly what it is that you want and I will provide just that. But closed mouths don't get fed. Just like closed legs don't get hit. Period. Anyways, make better choices pertaining to what, who you fuck with. <laughs> I just heard that on who you fuck with, that's growth. Make better choices on the things that is going to help you grow. Because like I said, anything that doesn't grow is dead. Make better choices on what is going to help you grow. Closed mouths don't get fed. Ooh. You don't get no love. You don't get no vision. You don't get no purity. You don't get no grace or no magic. So you better get to working. Spirit team. Hello. I got a word. <laughs> you better get to talking to God. Talking to the most high. Because y'all burn. They're unbreakable, baby. And that's something I, I just heard. And that's where you fucked up at. Because you don't even know how much I fuck with you. Ooh. Going on. Let me tell y'all. When you have a divine life purpose. Just in case you didn't know. But when you have a divine life purpose. It, I don't give a flying fuck. What Sally, Joe, or motherfucking Maybelline. Goddamn say, do, or motherfucking think. At the end of the day. What the fuck is divinely orchestrated for your motherfucking path. Regardless of what you think you need. Regardless of what you think you do. Regardless of any of that bullshit. Spirit team are going to step in. Shit is bigger than us. This shit is so much bigger than this motherfucking physical 3D bullshit. But it's so many fucking people whose mind is so goddamn closed that they are just in the box and I just close the guy out. You know, I'll just go through and just look at a motherfucking box and oh, well, what's inside of here? Oh. You know, you can open the box, and, but you can't help a motherfucker get out of it if, if that makes sense you've been trapped in a box of goddamn 20 plus years and you don't want to tap out something fucking wrong with you someone is can we talk baby just let it be so whoever that's wanting to talk just let it be just let like i said spirit guys do their own thing like you can't try to force anything with magic you can't try to force anything with money. You can't force whatever it's going to be. The shit is going to be regardless. You can't run from it. You can't prevent it. The only thing you can't fucking do is fucking invite some shit in. And obviously you don't need to be inviting nothing else in because you need to be making better choices. On the things that you are asking for. Feel like my divine feminine has been doing some growing, baby. That's all I hear is growing. And anybody that's fucking with you, while you're overcoming your trials and tribulations, your spirit team needs you. They need you to talk. I just heard spirit team is wanting to talk to you. They are wanting to connect. So that means I probably need to be meditating and praying myself. But remember... Throwing those that are trying to dig up dirt and throw dirt on you are losing ground underneath their own fucking feet. Spirit guys got you protected. So the motherfuckers just might want to be very goddamn cautious on what it is that they are doing. Because when you are the chosen one, baby, listen, let me tell you, spirit team do not motherfucking play about they chose about they babies. You don't know who. Oh, that's another thing, too. You don't know who you be fucking with out here. 
You could be out here trying to do some shit, trying to hack somebody, trying to bind somebody, trying to do some goofy ass shit. And then you done fucked around and fucked your whole family up. You done fucked your whole bloodline up. The motherfuckers that's here, the motherfuckers that's going to come even after you. Giving them shit that they got to fix. Like, literally, we got to, like, dead ass step up. Like, wake up. I bullshit you not. The law of focus. Didn't I fucking tell y'all folks that? The law of focus. And I also told you, you will know this person. You will, your soul will recognize your fucking soulmate because they were created specifically. It's going to be like a, a natural gravitation towards each other. It's nothing forced. Like I said, you, you guys are going to have this unbreakable as bond. It's going to be harmony. You guys could be seeing rabbits. Rabbits represents love. They co-create like crazy. All right. What other messages do you have for the collective, please? Ooh. Okay. 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 Serious commitment. Actions speak louder than words. Retry, I said outside influences. Mm. That outside influences is what the fuck caused the, caused the bullshit. If you look back, then you'll soon be going that way. So again, whoever this was that left and, you know, they're just like, fuck it, I'm done. He's like, wait a minute. Remember that card that said, aren't you the same one that tried to hurt me with goodbye? And then now, you're... if you look back, then that's where the fuck you'll be going is backwards. Your person wants you to know that you guys will be together soon. Like I said, in the serious commitment soon. Maybe before this person's actions didn't speak like they wanted a serious commitment. Outside influences at play like that. I've been picking up on that. Look, you are protected from that bullshit. Secret keeper. Deception. They cannot stop the divine. What is divinely magic cannot stop what is divinely orchestrated. Someone has the strength, the faith, the abundance, the accomplishment, the endurance to overcome these trials and tribulations. This shit's no secret. This is written in the books. This is written for your life. Whatever is for you is not going to fucking miss you. It doesn't matter what anybody else tries to fucking do. It does not matter. I'm telling you that right now. Whatever unhealthy, toxic shit someone's trying to do is not going to work. Being killed as a prisoner. Like all this shit is in reverse. They stop the put the teamwork in reverse. Put your independence in reverse. Your endurance, your strength, your courage, your progress. Days and weeks. So this week, be patient. There's going to be growth. You guys are spiritually protected. Spiritually discerned. Balance. Baby, just let it be a foolish man listens to his heart. So it's like whoever this person is, it's like, yep, act when necessary. I was just about to say that too. They're just like, you know, they're, I was kind of getting, they were having some sort of battle between like gaining their power and just saying, fuck it, just let it be. It's like they're meant to something like, man, fuck this shit, just let it go. And then they're like, no, I got to stand in my power. I got to bring balance and love to this and happiness to this. With this endurance, the feelings, the feelings are mutual. New love is only prosperous. Be patient for it. Let's 
So, like I said, if some of you guys have been going through some bullshit, you guys are going to be overcoming those trials and tribulations. Quick. All right, Spirit Team, what messages does the collective need to know at this point, this week for, damn, let's see, know your worth, that's what the hell you need to know, know your worth and not to deal with someone who's unrequited, there's external forces, again, that could be trying to fuck, look, reverse the roles, to challenge the tradition, External forces to cause this unconventional relationship. But there is going to be some sort of change. Someone is going to be standing up for themselves. Someone could be getting good news about a divorce. Yeah, divorce came up twice. Oh, di divorce is the wrong choice. For a mature female, they're lacking direction or feeling trapped. Renewal, adventurous, charm, hero, excited, sexy, hope, renewal. So if you guys were... Unrequited love. There's, like I said, if you were dealing with the unrequited love, someone who had their emotions blocked, there's going to be some sort of change and it's going to be good news. Some of you guys could be, you know, feeling trapped or in sorrow, sadness or whatever because of some divorce. That's why you can't focus. But there's, again, going to be some sort of hope, renewal, some sort of the healing. The feminine energy is healing. I told you I was picking up happiness, coming together, proud of success, teamwork, self-esteem. So you were, look, somebody was manipulating with this fucking dark magic. A bitter ass, salty ass female was doing something to cause Yep, some delinquent, inner child, impatient. And it caused someone to be fucking stressed out. But someone is reclaiming their power. Dark magic. They're reclaiming their power from this dark magic here. For their soulmates, yes, baby. Thank you for this confirmation, period. Spiritual, higher power. What the fuck did I say? It's something in this. It doesn't fucking matter, bro. It doesn't matter about none of this motherfucking black magic. None of this manipulation. None of that matters. If there is a divine order, then that's what it's going to be. These broken promises, that's what, that was manipulation. Obsessed with material shit, deadbeat, like all of that was manipulation. Someone is overcoming this. Protection, once again. Somebody going to be sad as fuck. Someone could actually, oh... Oh, I really don't like to vibrate on this on this type of way, but I'm about to hop on because, you know, you got to at some point in time. This shit is not all love and light. So someone is going. I have been getting. Yep. Your guides are protecting you. Someone may be passing away. Because they because they will not motherfucking stop with these. 
fucking spells. Let me tell y'all, I stayed up to about goddamn. I ain't know. I I don't even know what time I stayed up this morning. Yesterday morning, sorry. I don't even fucking know what time I stayed up, but this motherfucking bitch, um, what is her? Bella, I think is shit. Empress Bella. I don't know. It's a YouTuber on here that I be listening to and shouting fire. <laughs> When I say shout fire, I mean she fire. She even went down to the names. I mean fire. Oh, speaking of, I got descriptive decks. Maybe that's what the fuck I need to be doing too. But let me go ahead and tell y'all this. Okay, this is the same shit. This this is so crazy. <laughs> I swear this is so crazy. So the other download I was getting. Like other people, this is not even just me or just her. This has been in the community. Like somebody is seriously doing fucking dark magic and spirit guides are not going to allow this shit because they are trying to do binding spells. They are trying to do all types of stuff to break up some divine union. And it's not going to work. Unless it is meant. If those of you guys that are dealing with your karmic, like I said, once you release your karmic, then your soulmate comes in. But I feel like whoever this is that is continuously doing these fucking spells, this person, they could either lose a child I heard losing a child. So this person could very well lose a child. But your spirit guides are protecting you throughout this bullshit. But I feel like someone else is going to, like, they're really going to have to suffer. They're going to have to. Okay, um, she was also saying, if not death, she was getting a lot of death cards. But I kind of, you know, I don't really want to speak death on nobody. But I will say she also mentioned like dismemberment. You won't even be able to recognize this person by the time spirit is done with them because they have been getting the warning to stop. They are sad as fuck. They are in their ego and they have been warned to stop more than once and they have not fucking stopped. Look. Karmic. Avoiding corruption. Lying motherfucker injustice. A coward left behind. So someone is going to be leaving the karmic behind. Because they got too many balls up in the air. There's a financial loss here. A financial mess. There's no consistent plan. So someone is blocking off their emotions and releasing fear. And gaining their composure for, again, this motherfucking grounded masculine. Whoever was abusing their power or giving gifts with strings attached or was kissing ass. Somebody about to be getting left. Because, again, somebody is not learning from the past. Lack of spiritual growth. Betrayed, backstabbed, dormant, emotionally weak guy, a cheater. Like, just, and then somebody's trying to find balance with a cheater. Throughout these ups and downs. With their soulmate. Soulmate, sexual connection, sharing the same values. <sighs> I'm about to end this video here because I feel like I've been going for a minute and I know that I have been, but I want you guys to know, you know, what the fuck going on out here. Some of you guys are in a divorce or you're not going through a breakup. There is good luck. Your soulmate is coming in. 
someone oh decisive moments so someone may be um having to make serious decisions this week I got other cards that I kind of want to pull from, but I feel like this is enough. This literally has been enough. Like I heard enough, <sighs> enough, enough, enough. That is just enough for my spirit for tonight. So hello, sugar, come out. I love you guys. Okay, wait, um, I'm going to be obedient. Okay, let's be obedient. Feminine energies. Let's be obedient. Routine. That's not supposed to be in there. Or that. Or that. Or that. All right. Obviously, I had some mix-ups. Got a tattoo in there. Lotus flowers. So, somebody may like lotus flowers. Oh, and she mentioned a lotus flower last night, too. Oh, traveling, authority, risk. Traveling, authority, risk. Guilt, patience. Oh, so this person is this masculine energy. It's feeling like this shit is risky. Like, it would be risky if they were to come back because they are fucking guilty. They're, they're feeling like it's risky for them to try to come back and to gain their position back because of the bullshit that they have done. Feminine energy. Yeah, and lying about this the women that they were messing with that caused a disaster and a dishonor. Planning death, home. Like it, they were planning and plotting and shit, and it caused the death to the home life. To some natural, someone that's a natural, a natural feminine energy. Look, endurance for this fire sign, for stability, exploring. New romance, curious about the truth. About gaining your independence, protecting yourself from the devil, and recovering from the choices that you've made out of fear. Turning inward to attract the sun after feeling powerless, like you were victimized and being in control. And like I said, focusing on yourself, the high priestess here. Now, seriously, guys, one more card for the outcome. Like I said, this person, they know that they have lied up to the high priestess and to their family, and they may have lost their family because they were trying to obtain a victory with someone, and they really lost their queen and their happiness. And so now they're trying to decide what the fuck to do. How can I gain my independence back? Listening to your intuition and healing your inner child. Independence. So again, gaining your independence on every aspect, every playing field. Karma is brewing for those that have fucked you over. Like I said, with that devil energy, like I said, some spirits, your spirit guides are not fucking with this at all. This masculine is exploring his emotions. Or maybe he's Learning that he has to protect your emotions is what I just heard. Yeah, for spiritual growth. Like, they, he had to. Yeah, in order to get this wealth. Whatever he had to detach from is done. Or that's what they're waiting to do. Yeah, to get organized and to focus on themselves and whoever this natural female is. 
All right, so seriously now, guys, that's all I got for you. I love you guys. I hope that all is well with you guys. And please, ooh, if at any point this message resonates with you, look, the fool, a new beginning. You are protected. And then this one was endurance. So you have the endurance to fight through this stuff. Continue to go. Strive for the best. Never settle for less. Know your worth. Shut out that goddamn fear. Spirit God said that despair. Uh -uh. Get that shit organized. You are the high priestess. The fuck you thought. You better operate in joy. Look, you see how that despair just fell out? Ain't no losses. Get that fear in order. You are the high priestess. Vibrate in joy. And I'm leaving it right there because goddamn, that was enough. Look, like I said, that was enough. Recuperate for your independence, Empress. Recuperate from this devil energy. Focus on your commitment. The devil is a liar. Y'all see that? The devil is a liar. Wow, six, seven, eight. And then look, that's nine. Oh, wow. Four, four. And then that go to other four with stability. Hmm. Your spirit guys got you protected, honey. I don't give a fuck what nobody trying to do or say. And I'm just leaving it at that. Anyways, I love y'all. Bye.